Is it possible to provide district heating and electricity while at the same time reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Yes, in fact it is. Bioenergy with Carbon Capture and Storage, or BECCS, is a combination of bioenergy and carbon dioxide storage. Bioenergy works like this. In our combined heat and power plant, district heating and electric power is generated. We use residues from forestry, sawmills and pulp and paper production as fuel. Carbon dioxide that is released is in turn absorbed by new trees. Through photosynthesis, trees bind carbon and release oxygen. The result is a circular flow that is carbon dioxide neutral. The second component, carbon dioxide capture, involves capturing carbon dioxide and storing it in bedrock. The process works like this. Woody residues are transported to us by ship or train. At our bioenergy plant, the biomass is incinerated and turned into electricity and district heating. Carbon dioxide is separated from flue gases and compressed and cooled into liquid form. It is then transported to a permanent storage site deep below the North Sea floor in sedimentary bedrock, where the liquid carbon dioxide mineralizes over time. The combination enables us to produce district heating and electric power while helping to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We want to build the world's first large-scale BECCS facility at our biopower plant in Vaktan in Stockholm. Once the plant opens, it will capture 800,000 tons of carbon dioxide per year, which is more than emissions from road traffic in Stockholm for an entire year. Follow our progress on beccs.se.